All right. I put up a Rottweiler video yesterday. Human aggressive. Can't pet it. Extremely fearful of people. Just 20 minutes ago, this Rottweiler couldn't be touched by anybody. Get Side, 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 and stay. Just come around. Oh, she's loving you now. You know, we're. So that video was first session working on her fear aggression and getting people to be able to pet her, okay? So in this video, I am going to talk about things I have always talked about for 20 years again, and <laughs> I'll keep saying it because it works all the time, successful, and trainers, behaviorists, and this is more for the professionals out there than it is the public because they just don't listen. So, because you have all this negativity, right, and misunderstanding, lack of dog psychology by the traders, behaviorists, and the masses, right? Not understanding that pressure for dogs is the key to happiness. Okay? It's very simple, right? You can try to go science. You can try to do all that, get as deep into whatever you want to do scientifically and try to go around the the basic of dog right but you're you're never going to be able to do it and science won't either so <laughs> it's been proven over and over again <laughs> appropriate pressure dog meant to be bitten when they came to earth Right? Facts can't go around that one either, scientifically, or however you want to feel about it. So, this is just another perfect example, right, of the thousands and thousands of dogs I've trained that have fear aggression or aggression. And quickly, right, within minutes, one session that they change dramatically. So, then you see right as soon as we finish putting pressure on her, as we're hanging out, Alyssa's petting her with the sleeve, and then things just progress from there all the way to a love fest. Yeah. So what you're going to do with that for a second? One more time, listen. As soon as Alyssa comes in to pet, you're just gonna stay so, okay? So, we, yeah, we're gonna act like we're stopping for the person. Oh, look, we're gonna say hello. <laughs> you can talk to her on the way. She can handle it now. She can, she's... Right there. And you could probably even do your right hand too. Mm -hmm. 
And what you can do is you can soothe her with that right hand, like just soothe her chest and soothe her up. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna have you do, you're gonna come in one more time, no sleep. No, she's good with you, she's fine. She'll accept you. <laughs> no, even right there, you could just do it from there. You can just drop the sleep if you want. Try this one. Just move back a little bit. If she wants to go, yeah, you're back. Or let her go to you. Right. Hi, girl. Hi. Oh, yes. Yes, girl. Alyssa's getting some love. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Mama, how was that? <laughs> I didn't bite her. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do that just for a sec. I'm gonna see if she'll that's what I wanna say. Then you're gonna back up again. All right, and, and you just, mm hmm. Hey, hey, don't get too personal. <laughs> you're not that close yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, we can try. If you back away, stand up. Yeah, there you go. And you pet her standing up, okay? Back up and then go into her. Well, I want to see if she'll seek you while you're up. Right? And if you kind of like, hey, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, thank you, thank you. That's a pretty girl, oh yeah, that's a pretty girl, face to face with you, a little scary, but you're good, yeah, you Oh, she's loving you now, you know, we're, she's like, where's the hand? <laughs> Yeah, that was Titus. <laughs> that was that was the long pee that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do what I did last time. Just mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, she's smelling me. <laughs> K. 
Camp out there, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's gonna, no, she's gonna lay down there. She, she's yeah. loving. Like she's been like crawling up on the couch, uh -huh. laying, and uh, I'll be reclined, and she'll be right there with her chest on the hip cutter. <laughs> Mama, I have a new friend. <laughs> it's not my brother. <laughs> you know what? I'm letting Jose hang out in the rain for a little bit. Yeah, good. Hopefully you get struck by He keeps going motion detector. Somebody at the front door keeps swiping. <laughs> We're busy, man. <laughs> now, the first thing when we started this session, we did one session last week talking about her fear. I needed her to do the base things before we go after her aggression. So I haven't seen them in a week. They had homework to do. When the owner came in today, she told us right off the bat, before we even started the class today, or pushing her aggression that she has been a different dog this whole week after the pressure class that we put on her last week. That at the house, she's been extremely loving when she's not ever been loving with the owners. Cuddling in them, getting in their lap, licking. She never does that to them. That this was the first week since they've had her as a puppy that she's been affectionate with them after doing the last class that we did a week ago of a little bit of obedience pressure. That with the e-collar, we get more love, not more fear of the owner. And that, no, 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 that's what people think. When they do e-collar work, the more scared the dog is, they think, well, why would I do e-collar? Because I'm going to make her more scared. And I don't want her scared to meet the owner. Right. So they don't want to put pressure on They think that e-collar actually is going to do worse. So what you just said there is always what I'm trying to explain to you about the e-collar. The only way to get a dog to calm down fast is through e-collar pressure. And then they become more lucky. I hear that all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Right? Definitely. Right. So if you don't want to say no words. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> And since our last training session, we were using the e collar more and more. And now in the evenings, Jazz climbs up on my lap in the recliner. She puts her head on my chest and she wants me to pet her. So she's become a lot more loving towards me and affectionate since we've been doing this program. It is crazy because, like, a lot of people think that, that you hear on the other side of trainers saying that if when you use e-collars it's going to damage the relationship between dog and owner but like it really does the opposite it's the opposite yeah right as i tell everybody i mean thousands of dogs yeah done with fear everybody comes in with that they look online and yeah. trainers say these things behavior says oh don't do e-collar don't do e-collar because you're gonna make them worse you're gonna make them scared right but yet it always works the other way it right. never not works that way yeah where the owner says man they're so much more relaxed they've never given me affection before and now they're actually very affectionate with me mm -hmm. yeah because her brother has always been the loved one yeah. the snuggle bunny loved one mm -hmm. And but, her with her nerves can be a little bit yeah. separate because she's a little bit fearful of what's going to happen to her, who's going to touch me wrong, <clears throat> all that. But once right. you put the pressure of e-collar and you discipline the mind, the mind calms down and has trust. It's an amazing thing. And tell everybody, it's just a, an amazing tool. If yeah. it's done properly and yeah. you know what you're doing, you get amazing results. And you see you see her with the way she is right now? Yeah. 
the eyes are completely relaxed. Yeah. Just a few minutes ago, she we weren't even doing anything with her, and she looked like she was having a meltdown. <laughs> yeah. Now all of a sudden she has the relaxed eyes, like she's gonna take a nap. You can see the soothing, right, from the pressure game. Right. But appropriate pressure. Yeah, right, right. fair. Mm -hmm. Good. That's excellent because I always want people, and I never catch it. Yeah. Because people tell me behind the scenes and I don't film it. Right. And they're like, Richard, I gotta tell you. And I'm like, damn, I wish that I would record everybody saying this because people think I just say things. Right. <laughs> Right? It's like, I'm saying because my opinion. Right. No, it's not an opinion. Yeah. <laughs> right? It happens to fact. Yeah. I know I didn't record it. I'm sorry. I didn't record the thousands of people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Good. Okay. So this is a perfect example, example for people. If you listen and you pay attention, you must override your opinions you must override your feelings. You must override any, you know, objections that you have to how I do things, right? Because it's ridiculous. And when you get result and see a result like this, and I've many, many thousands of, right, the results just the same, of happy dogs after we put pressure and my aggression program and you see them wagging their tails they're able to play with dogs again they love dogs again they love people again they can go to the vet again when they weren't allowed to go to the vet because they were so aggressive now the vet's like wow how'd you do that right that you must be able to be flexible and very good at observing Right? When you see this Rottweiler in the video here being loving and affectionate, she's not being forced to do that. She is choosing to engage with Alyssa and be very affectionate with her on her own. Right? If you are an <laughs> observant person and somebody who's mentally flexible, you will get rid of your bias because it's showing you the truth right in your face. So there's, if you argue about it, if you be defiant against it, and that's bull crap, and that, right? That's just ignorance. That's just stupidity, right? Are you here to help dogs? Are, are, if you do dog training for a living, are you trying to help them? You say you love them. If this isn't a perfect example of how dog works and how to get them happy, like that, faster than anybody else could do it, anybody, there's not a trainer on earth that could do it faster. Okay? The method that I have, because I understand dogs, right? If I wanted to be kind, <laughs> following a heart or, or, you know, an assumption, like most trainers and behaviors do, they're never going to cure their aggression, their phobias, none of the fears, because they're seeing dog in a hum human light through human emotion. That doesn't work, right? If I was to follow my heart, I would have went positive as well. But I'm so glad that I was smart enough, right? to put my feelings aside and see how things played out, right? To see what's best for the dogs, not my opinions and my feelings about it and my emotions, because that's why we have a disaster in the dog industry. Millions going to sleep unnecessarily if trainers, behaviorists understood these things. So, an owner telling you here, I didn't tell her to say it, just from some appropriate pressure that they've been lacking in their lives living with humans, right? It's very simple stuff. It's not that simple as a whole to do, but it, it's very simplistic dog 
at its core and how they think and how their genetics work, right? Humans want to get all crazy with this and, and see dog differently than what they are and more complex and, uh, you know, it's just crazy. That's why most dogs are suffering. Millions and millions and millions of dogs, not just in our country, around the world are going to sleep now from banning the tools. And the people that are on the side of banning the tools, right? The honest truth is they just don't understand dogs. They are clueless understanding dogs. And they will not think that. They will think they are doing the best for the animal because they love dogs, right? That's nice to think and nice to feel, but you don't love them more than I do. I can tell you that. And that's why I went for truth in my career on how to fix dogs, not by how my heart felt. My heart would have misled me to go down paths that I could not really help dogs. And that is the positive path, right? So I wanted that too. I was hoping 20 something years ago when, you know, the new positive thing came on and hoping that, okay, well, if we don't have to use tools, this could be great. If this is real, what everybody's saying. And it never, ever even came close or panned out that way. And there's no positive trainer out there either that can show that either. So, like I said, the system I have is the quickest, most effective, most humane way to cure dogs of fear, anxiety, aggression. Period. There's, it's, <laughs> it's not even debatable, right? And I wouldn't even do that with anybody because it's foolish. Because I have so many videos up saying dogs not attacking dogs anymore, or playing with dogs. Dogs not killing people anymore, and now he's loving them. I mean, it goes on and on and on and on. Now, unfortunately, Jose wasn't here when we were doing this. So we didn't add him into it. But this coming class, we will do that. But it's just showing too, even with Alyssa herself, without Jose, that she was no exception to the dog either. She was going to bite her too. If she came in to try to pet her as well. There was no difference between Jose and Alyssa. There was no preference, man or woman. She wasn't better with Alyssa because she was a woman than Jose because she was a man. And just to clear up, the suit you see on Jose and the sleeve on Alyssa doesn't make one difference to the dog. That is not why they are going after them either. They're not afraid of the sleeve, afraid of the suit. They don't know what those things are, right? They have no idea what those things are. They just don't like to be pet. They don't want people going... She doesn't want people going near her. She's afraid of people, whether you have a sleeve, a jacket, or nothing. So it, it's just miraculous, right, when you understand the game.